Look at this. The darker line. The first scoop. Here we go. Already. Let's take one last look at the pond. What is going on, Kaferos? Welcome back to another video here today. Today's, today's the day. We're building a pond right here. We picked spot number one. Here's all the comments. Shout out to spot number one. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, last video, I actually told you guys, hey, comment where you think I should put this pond, either spot number one, which was right there, or spot number two, which was right here. We got all the rock, as you can see. Look at all this rock. By the way, the fence as well is going up. You can see the fence in the background there. All the way across the property and all the way back there. <laughs> Lots of rock, uh, and our machine is back. Oh. This right here is what we're gonna dig this pond with. I'm gonna kinda show you guys what I'm thinking and what these dudes are thinking. We got <laughs> Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. He's yes, been sir. at some of the builds before, actually. Yep. And then we got Ralph, Pondscapes. He built the mini pond with uh, April. And then we What's got a noob. Up? We got it. <laughs> we got someone new to the channel. This is Weston Hi. from Tussie Landscaping, and he's like a filmmaker, dude. He's got some dope stuff here, and you'll see some shots from him throughout the day. I'm just having fun. He's actually fun. gonna film some of my stuff. <laughs> there you go. So, quick introduction to all of them. You're gonna see a lot more of them throughout this video, obviously, and I'll also have all their channels linked down in the description. These dudes are for real awesome. They got all the way down here just to make this beautiful palm with us. So, here we go. The darker line. Oh wow, this is really bright on this camera. Yeah. All right, look how big it is. Before you dig, let me get like an overhead of that. That's it, right there. Maybe a different shape. We always switch it up as we go. This looks amazing. Bio Falls will be right here, facing this way, which will then give you the view from these two windows. And then there'll also be another drop off. It'll pull, drop off this way, which then gives you a view from coming up the driveway and also at the front door. Ralph, what do you think <laughs> of uh, my, my pond spray? I, you know, uh, that was your, like, I would yeah. say you you do this for a living. I mean, really? just the way this came out. I mean, awesome. You can spray like. Oh, <laughs> that's a great compliment. Uh, though, I thank would you. say that your walking abilities are <laughs> need some more. So first things first, we got to take the top layer of sod off. And and Jack, why is that? So grass is an organic, which means it'll break down over time. If we use this grass as a base layer for our waterfall then what can happen is it's settling and we don't want anything to settle in here when we're finished so we'll strip all this grass off, get rid of it, and then we'll have some good dirt to work with. Guys, I'm excited. I don't know about you, if you're excited, like this video. All I gotta say is I'm excited and the sun is bright, but if you are as excited as I am, hit that like button for me down there below. If you wanna see more videos, not only film with this camera, cause this is not something I normally film with. I, I could start growing some biceps and, and holding this thing more if you want me to. We are live on Instagram right now, and uh, we're also about to get our small gravel. Hey, this we're live. This is so weird, dude. I don't know what to film, what to do. Lucky Landscape hooked it up with the gravel today. We're gonna actually, I mean, amp piles, amp piles. Look what we got going on. So we got one and a half inch mixed with pe uh, pea, pea pebbles, I think. Is that how you say it? Yeah, figure out. I'm also still live on Instagram, but <laughs> you can see that. Peas, big ones. Peas, big ones. And then we're just gonna boom, pour it down. Once again, big shout out to Lucky. I appreciate that, Austin. Uh, we got pea gravel and big gravel, and this is what we're gonna use to fill in all the gaps and make the pond look nice. A PC spot. Is it gonna mess up my hair? Oh, you and your hair. You're building a pond, Jack. I know, I gotta look good for the camera, though. That's all I got going for me. All right, we're all PC'd out. I'm gonna take a quick merch account picture, and uh, yeah, copy merch, top link in the description. Go check the battery. So, Ralph, this right here is pretty much what is making the pond level with the ground. That's correct. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig down in a couple different shelves. This will tell us exactly where our elevations are, and then we'll set our level with our skimmer using this tool, and that water level will be perfect. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, you guys just came up with a another plan. Yes, sir. What's, what's so, the little switch up we got so going Paulie, on? So, Paulie, what do you think about this? We're gonna take the biofalls, which is yep. what starts the waterfall, and this is actually the biological filter for your pond. We're gonna aim it towards the driveway, so when you pull in, you see that waterfall coming in. This will all be built up, it'll come around this way, and then we'll do a drop right here. Looking out that office window, you're gonna see that beautiful waterfall. Then it can come around, and right about here, 
is where we can split it and go into the pond across to where the skimmer is. Yeah. Sounds good. good. The first scoop. Here we go. Actually, I've never seen someone work a machine as good as Jack is right now. It's, it's insane. Watch how fast he just straight down to the exact spot he wants. Scoops it up. He knows exactly what he's doing with that pile of dirt. It's crazy. Right around West End. You got the bio fall in, Ralph. Got the bio fall in, so now I got to stand inside of it. Weston's going to throw me dirt, and I'm going to compact around it and make it nice and tight. So as you know, usually when these ponds are being built, I don't really mess with them too much. They just do their thing. Uh, right now, what the job they did give me to do was rinse the gravel, because if we don't rinse our gravel and rinse our big rock over here, it would make your water 10 times as cloudy. So we gotta rinse everything we have here on the driveway before we place it in the pond. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. We're gonna rinse all this rock. Why is it so windy? What is going on? Oh, we go the right way here. What's Underlayment's going in, Jack. Spitting. Ralph, going in. Baby. Going yeah, in. Gonna yeah, touch your liner. We are ready to start setting some rocks after this. Hey. <laughs> Already. Let's take one last look at the pond. Take one last look. There it is. I'm on hold to try to get this uh, thing for another day. This right here is all going to be like a fireplace. You, you'll see it all. Liner's going on now. Guess what, Jack? Yes, sir. We got the machine for another day. That's good news that we can build that fire pit you want. Yes, excavator for another day, my fellas. What do you think, Ralph? I think that's fire. Going back and forth from GoPro to big camera, but we got the liner. Get it up. Run this way, Ralph. Holy moly. Back up this way. It's time for rock. We have a lot of rock, too. Oh, yeah, look at you. Lunch is here, my friends. So as the pond is being built, I come inside and Ashley Weber, I'm gonna have her Instagram right here on the screen. You can actually check her out, link in the description as well. Chad, what Crazy. do you think? Is that insane? This is Ashley. Shout out to her because this is absolutely insane. I wanna turn the camera around. Look at this. That is crazy. It's a Mahi Mahi chasing flying fish. And it's made out of stainless steel, you said? Yeah, stainless. So you can check out her links down in the description. Please do me a favor and do that. Um, this is a big touch to the home. What do you think, Dad? You like it? It's awesome. What do you think, Mom? I love it, it's my favorite. It is insane, so appreciate it. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I'm digging this out for the bowl. So I'm gonna test fit it right now and see how it looks. Now we want this to kind of overlap and hang out. But into still the like stay out of the water a little bit, you know? What's that? But still, you want it to stay out. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, yeah. It's, so you can see it's still kind of out of the water. Yep, and you see out in the front, we're gonna have this nice little stream coming in, and we'll do some rock work to support the face of it so we don't see the bottom of the front of the hole. So the boys have done a little work since the last time I picked up the camera. As you can see, much more rock work is done. And uh, it's looking great. I really do like this color rock. And I think one of the main reasons why I like this color rock is because a lot of the theme towards this house is modern. So like black, white, gray, that color. And this rock is obviously white. The rock we have at my parents' house, my mom's house, is that brown like river rock. So I don't think it fits the vibe as much as this does. So yeah, this rock is uh, much better than the last rock, I think. So that sick, works. man. Right up to the driveway too, like right on it. Look at that. The camera is dusty. I haven't picked it up in a bit, but uh, woo! I have been slacking. As you can see, gravel's starting to go in. And the only reason why I didn't film any of it because one, I made a long trip to the store. But now that I'm here, this is what they've got done and it is incredible. Like I'm talking crazy. 
We still have all this, this whole thing to do tomorrow, as well as the landscape, and I wanna do a bunch of other stuff around this area, as well as like lying the rock down this way. There is a lot that I want to get done. So, part one's just about over. Uh, I don't know what, how much else we're gonna do today. Tomorrow's an even busier day, which will be part two of this video, this series here. I think there's gonna be two to three parts, not sure yet. But uh, it is coming, it is coming along. As you can see up here, we have the biofalls. This is gonna pour out water. We have it actually highlighted. It's gonna pool up this way, and then after it pools up, it's gonna take that drop, which then gives you the look from that window, and then you're gonna pull out here again and drop into the pond right there. So you're not only getting a view from the driveway, but you're also getting a view from the office room. Jack, this is a, a big pool. Well, you know what, we actually oversize it. When we dig it so that we can place the rocks wherever we want, we can just bring the liner in. So it gives us a lot of freedom to create whatever stream and waterfall we want in the yeah. space. This looks amazing. So right now you're doing the biofalls. Yeah, so this is the filter, the heart of your pond. I'm sure you're familiar with it. But this is our biofalls filter. So we've got to attach this liner to this filter and make sure that it's watertight. And we're going to do that by putting the liner up against it and having this face plate that actually sandwiches it in there with some silicone. But what I gotta do first is I have to get it up there, I have to poke all the holes where the bolts go through, put it through the face plate, and then put my silicone in and make that watertight seal. Now walking up to the house, it's right up against the driveway here. Even when you open this door, you're literally right here next to the pond. It looks so good. It's also gonna have this pooling spot right here. We'll do all that tomorrow. I just wanted to say that this came out amazing. For the first day that we've been working here, Jack, what do you think? I think it came out great. It, it, it literally came out like that, fast. We got a lot of videos to come on this sucker, but uh, I am stoked. Look at that. Okay, I want to personally thank individually every single one of these CACs. They're friends to me, yeah. but to everyone else, CACs, Aquascape contractors. They do this for a living. They build ponds from all over. You're in Jersey. Yes. Uh, Ralph is in Arizona. He's over there on the phone speaking business, you know? And then you are, where are you from, Weston? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. So Pennsylvania, Arizona, and Jersey. Coming from all over the world to come build this pond right here. Greg is actually on the way. We got yep. Greg's dad here. Happy Howdy. birthday. Oh, wait, All right. Wait, wait. <laughs> Gary's turning 74 today, so shout out to Gary. And of course, shout out to your son. He's hooking up. The man, the myth, the legend, Greg Whitstock, hooking up all the products. Aquascape is the... But back to Jack here. Uh, this has been an insane journey. What have you built? Third, three ponds This now? is our fourth pond. Fourth pond yeah. together. If you guys want to check out any of these channels down below you could do so right down there link in the description click it if you subscribe to the channel let me know in the comments down below and I'm gonna heart the comment I'm gonna heart as many as I possibly could just let me know that you subscribe to all of them I appreciate it I thank you so much Jack thank you Paul I appreciate and, uh, it guys I don't know why I'm thinking them right now because tomorrow's another day we're gonna kill it even harder yes absolutely. it's gonna be insane so shout out to Jack and now let's go on to maybe Weston the one holding the camera <laughs> Now over to Weston, the filmmaker, the one that's been holding the What's camera at the times that I wasn't. Shout out to you for not only doing that, but coming of course to help out on this build. You're welcome. Um, I just want to let everyone know that these people, like I've, we've built like relationship friendships, like through ponds. It's kind of cool yeah. that I had no idea who any of these people were. Yeah. None of you. Yeah, until, ponds is what brought us together. Until ponds brought us all together. Yep. So it's really cool that we have the opportunity to do this and I'm blown away that it's at my new house. So yeah, that's I'm awesome. Stoked. I'm really stoked and I couldn't thank you enough. You're welcome, man. And your channel will be linked in the description. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Now, Jack, do you have anything to say to the Caferos? You know, I have a lot to say because you guys have helped me out so much over the last year with Paul, with the shout outs, and you guys coming over subscribing to our channel. I They're really, loving your stuff. I appreciate They're loving it. Stuff. We put a lot of work into the channel and uh, thank you all for helping us grow to over 15,000 right now. We're trying to get to 20, so we'll see as, how- As a plane interrupts you, it's really not helping, but it's all right. We are trying to get to 20, <laughs> so I'm really counting on you guys to help us out again. Thanks a lot. Now Ralph from Pondscapes out in Arizona. The third CAC that has been with us on this little journey here. This has been an awesome half trip, right? We're not done. We're not done. We have two more days. Big shout out to you as well, Ralph. You were at my mini pond build. Yes. So the mini pond that's in my parents' yard, we actually built that with him. I don't know if you've seen the video. You may have seen it. I don't know. Maybe. Check it out. <laughs> this is what I love to do. Exactly. I'm, I come out here because I love hanging out with my friends. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we met a year ago. And, and I, I mentioned fun. that on camera too. Like even off camera, we're doing the same thing. We're hanging out. We got dinner planned tonight with everyone. Greg's going to be here. I mean, we don't we're no different than we are on camera. No. It's no. literally what we love to do, and we just 
have a blessing that we were able, literally able to film it. Yeah, so I, I, this is what I eat, sleep, and breathe. Yep. I love doing this. This is my passion, and to be able to do that and travel the country with friends and have this opportunity, I mean, why wouldn't I be here? Couldn't beat it, right? Yeah. Nice hat, by the way. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> that is pretty much it for part one. I am gonna do a positive comment shout out here in just a second. I just wanna thank all three of them once again and Aquascape. Everything is linked down in the description below. Uh, check them out, please do. And uh, let me do today's positive comment shout out. Today's positive comment shout out goes out to Funny Vines. Great video, as usual. Keep it up, Paul. Thank you, Funny Vines, and to everyone that's been dropping positive comments down there. Thank you all for watching. If you have not done so already, um, I mean, come on. Join the family. Hit the subscribe button. Click the notification bell after you do 